Hello students! Welcome to another episode in General Mathematics. In this video, we'll talk about representing real-life situation using rational functions. This is Teacher EJ with Dr. Einstein. For our learning competency, we have represents real-life situations using rational functions. And for our subtasks, we have solve real-life problems involving rational functions. Let's start with the definition of a polynomial function. A polynomial function p of degree n is a function that can be written in the form p of x is equal to a sub n x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 x raised to n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 x raised to n minus 2 plus we have here an ellipsis indicating that there are some terms here plus a sub 1 x raised to 1 plus a sub o where a sub o a sub 1 a sub n are all elements of real numbers. A sub n cannot be equal to 0 and n is a positive integer. From this definition, I am going to show you each term of the function. This is the first term. This is considered as a term. A term is separated by a plus or minus sign. So this is also another term, and another term, another term, and lastly, the constant term. The degree of a polynomial function is the highest exponent of any term. So pagka nakakita kayo ng pinakamataas na exponent, kahit nasa huli pa man yan, siya yung magiging degree ng polynomial function. So, this is the definition. That is the leading coefficient. So, number yan. Kaya siya tinawag na leading coefficient. Yung mismong nakabox, ang tawag dyan ay leading term. Kasi isang term siya. And yung nakasircle na kulay yellow, ang tawag dyan ay constant term. Wala siyang kasamang variable, kaya siya tinawag na constant term. Number lang siya. Let's have an example. p of x is equal to 5x cubed plus 2x squared minus 7x plus 9. The degree of a polynomial is 3 because it is the highest exponent that is found in the first term. Pwede rin siyang mahanap sa mga kasunod na term or sa last term. So it doesn't matter kung nasa ang term siya. What matters is siya yung pinakamataas na exponent. Next, the leading coefficient or the leading term I mean is 5x cubed. And the leading coefficient is 5, which is in the first term. And lastly, our constant term, yung walang kasamang variable ay 9. Let's now move on to the definition of a rational function. A rational function of the form f of x is equal to p of x over q of x, where p of x and q of x are polynomial functions and q of x is not equal to zero function. That is, q of x cannot be equal to 0. The domain of f of x is the set of all values of x where q of x is not equal to 0. Example 1. Mang Amado is an ice cream vendor. He is well known for his signature ice cream pushcart and his delicious ice cream. Every morning, he walks a distance of 5 meters west per second to sell ice cream. So, we have to express the velocity v as a function of his walking time, t, in seconds. And letter b, construct a table of values to show the velocity if his walking time is 2 seconds, 4 seconds, 5 seconds, and 10 seconds. Solution Let's identify the keywords first. Let v be the velocity in meters per second, and t is Mang Amado's walking time in seconds. So, the formula for velocity is v is equal to s over t, where s is the displacement and t is the time. 
Pero given natin sa problem ay, ang displacement S is equal to 5. Remember, Mang Amado walks 5 meters per second west. So our answer, we can represent the velocity of Mang Amado as the function of V of T is equal to 5 over T. Using the function v of t is equal to 5 over t, we can now construct a table of values to obtain the velocity if the walking time of Mang Amado is 2 seconds, 4 seconds, 5 seconds, and 10 seconds respectively. We can also include the initial time which is 1 second. Since it is mentioned in the problem that Mang Amado walks 5 meters west per second. Substituting each value of t in the formula we have, if t is equal to 2, v of 2 is equal to 5 over 2 equals 2.5. We can enter the answer on our table. If t is equal to 4, v of 4 is equal to 5 divided by 4 equals 1.25 if t is equal to 5 v of 5 is equal to 5 divided by 5 equals 1 and if t is equal to 10 v of 10 is equal to 5 divided by 10 equals 0.5 as you have noticed, as the time in seconds decrease, increases, the velocity decreases. Example 2 Suppose that c of t is equal to 5t over t squared plus 1 in milligram or milliliter represents the concentration of a drug in a patient's bloodstream t hours after the drug was administered. Construct a table of values for c of t for t is equal to 1, 2, 5, and 10. Round of answer to 3 decimal places. Use the table of values to sketch the graph and interpret the results. In this problem, the function is given and it represents the concentration of a certain drug in the patient's bloodstream. And it is C of T is equal to 5T over T squared plus 1. C stands for the concentration of a drug which means the absorption of the drug in the patient's bloodstream. And T stands for the time in hours after the drug was given to the patient. We are asked to construct a table of values given the value of t which are 1, 2, 5, and 10. Using the formula, just substitute the value of t to obtain the concentration of drug per R. So c of 1 is equal to 5 times 1 over 1 squared plus 1. 5 times 1 is 5, 1 squared is 1 plus 1. So 5 over 1 plus 1 is 2, and 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. We can now enter the answer in the table of values. Next, C of 2 is equal to 5 times 2 over 2 squared plus 1 equals 5 times 2 is 10 over 2 squared is 4 plus 1 equals 10 over 5 plus 5 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2 next c of 5 is equal to 5 times 5 over 5 squared plus 1 equals 5 times 5 is 25 and 5 squared is 25 also plus 1 so 25 over 25 plus 1 is 26. 25 divided by 26 is 0 
9, 6, 2. Lastly, C of 10 is equal to 5 times 10 over 5, uh, 10 squared, I mean, plus 1. 5 times 10 is 50 over 10 squared is 100 plus 1. 50 over 100 plus 1 is 101 equals 50 divided by 101 is 0 0.5. 495 Let us now sketch the graph from the values in our table So we will start with the initial time which is 0 0 which is wala pang inilagay or isinaksak na gamot. Next, after 1 hour, so, tumalab na yung dosage, so we have 2.5 ml or milliliter. After 2 hours, so we have 2 milligram or milliliter. After 5 hours, we have 0 0.962 milligram or milliliter. And after 10 hours, we have 0 0.495 milligram or milliliters. Now, sketching the graph, we have there you go. As you can see, the graph indicates that the maximum drug concentrations occurs around 1 hour after the drug was administered. Ibig sabihin, pagkatapos ng isang oras, doon palang gagana or maaabsorb ng pasyente sa kanyang bloodstream yung drug na isinaksak sa kanya. So, ang pinaka-pick is 1 hour. And then, paunti ng paunti as the time goes by. You can now accomplish your module number 4. Thank you for listening and see you next time. Bye-bye!